What's going on guys? Good morning and welcome to the vlog. I've got great news today. We have a new saddle on. Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! So, after my almost a month of complaining about the uh, this standard uh, S-Works power saddle, I have finally received and installed my S-Works mirror. 3D printed religion of a saddle. I took some pics, I don't know if you've seen it on my Instagram or not, but go ahead, follow me. Instagram, Mitch on two wheels. <clears throat> so today, it's, uh, it's the evening on a Tuesday and we're just going out to try the saddle out. I've done about 50 different measurements to try to get it bang on and uh, I think I got it. So we're going for a ride, break this puppy in, make sure everything's all good. And more than anything, I did uh, I think an hour and a half this morning on the trainer. My legs are toast and I just want to go out and enjoy an hour out on the bike. So that's what we're doing. Hopefully, as you guys can tell, fall is right around the corner here. Uh, today, I'm filming this, it's mid-September. So I don't know when it's going to be online, but it should give you an idea of when I film these and put things out weekly. There's a delay, but lots of leaves are coming down. As you can see, and it's starting to cool down and the after work ride is starting to become a little less uh, easy to do. Dirt path, hell of the door. Who says you can't ride gravel on an SL8? It just comes down to your tires, man. Honestly. Okay, we're gonna go have fun. We'll catch up down the road and we'll talk a little bit about the new saddle. quick break. I just absolutely hammered at 100%-ish through a, uh, also, never say you did 100%. It's always 90, right? I just hammered through at 90% a segment. Hopefully I got a uh, PR. It's gonna be the only segment I'm pushing on this route. My legs are toast from this morning. It was all uh, threshold work, so I'm already pumped up, but it doesn't feel that bad, surprisingly. Anyway, so got the bike here which, uh, you know, looks beautiful against the fall backdrop of the falling leaves. Anyway, um, the seat's installed. A couple things that I had to change between this and the, uh, the standard saddles. I actually had to lower the seat because this distance here is bigger on the uh, power mirror. So I had to actually bring my saddle down just a little bit. And that's always troubling for me to adjust that as well as the tilt. So I think I have it pretty good. The bike continues to amaze me. Like every time I ride it, I'm getting PRs in places I didn't even realize I'd be getting. So either my SL7 was a slouch or my fitness is better or the SL8 rocks. I'm leaning towards that, to be honest. Cause it's all about that seven to 10 Watts or 14 Watts at 50 kilometers an hour, which is clearly me, obviously. I'm just kidding guys, relax. Anyway, bike's looking good. Everything's looking amazing. I'm stoked. Um, I just want to go ride, man. That's it. So I'm going to keep riding. I'm going to continue to take you with me. And uh, let's see if I can... Uh, oh, God. Oh. oh, my nuts. I mean, God, that's comfortable on my anatomy. That's how all reviewers should do this stuff. Okay. Let's get back rolling here. I can... Uh, I can breathe again. Uh, oh, that's cool. There's some people over there doing drugs. 
always good for a ride, you know? Go for a ride, do some drugs. I don't get it. <laughs> Ugh. Anyway, let's keep rolling and I will catch up with you guys down the road here and talk more about the saddle. All right, so the mirror saddle, unreal as always. It's just like, it's like home cooked food. It just feels so good, it's so familiar. I love it. So it is now on all three bikes and uh, I'm happy with that. I also noticed my stem has developed a bit of a creak. So I'm gonna have to deal with that when I get home. So I think that's gonna be it for me guys. I think I'm gonna wrap this up, get some B-roll and uh, put it together with a bow on top known as a Bush League vlog. All right guys, have a great week and we'll see you Thursday. Later.